In September 2020, I stayed at a beautiful bed and breakfast called the Clay Hanger in Newcastle on the Line, Stoke on Trent. Stoke on Trent is the home of John Wedgwood, designer and manufacturer of crockery, potteries, for which Stoke on Trent is famous for. Just let you have a look around the premises. It's a bed and breakfast on three storeys. Some of the rooms are en suite and some of them are just bedrooms that you share a bathroom or shower room with, which is in the corridor. Each room seemed to have a television and a wash basin and usual facilities like kettles and some snacks. Yes, it appeared to be like two terrace houses that have been um, locked together. Or... And this was one of the rooms that I first stayed in, the first um, time that I stayed there for a few days. no lift so you use the stairs and downstairs there's a breakfast room which you will see later. After a bit the bed wasn't very comfortable so I used the second quilt and laid that on top of the bed for some support. I like the idea of the velcro that they use to attach to the base of the bed as a valance. This room also had a fridge, a microwave, kettle hairdresser, hair dryer, and a little wardrobe in there as well. Also had a digital radio and a television, and a private ensuite, shower, and wash facilities. It's a good location if you want to go to somewhere like Trenton Garden or Waterworld, or to the potteries and the pottery museum. But unfortunately, because of COVID, I wasn't able to do any of that, and I was walking around there, so I couldn't. Anyway, but I did go to Trenton Gardens on the last day. Kevin was currently the owner. They did a beautiful breakfast and they have a beautiful buffet breakfast each morning. That was probably the only kind of one of the few faults that I found, which is the stain and the I think it was a dead spider in the castle. But Kevin was very accommodating and he got me another kettle. And of course, some I used some wipes to wipe down the surface of the dresser because of well, because of COVID as well. You have to be very careful. And um, while I was staying there, they wouldn't wouldn't be able to do cleaning. That, that tea stain that I showed you was actually there before I, um, before I used the room. This is the breakfast room. The whole place is quite beautifully decorated. I think it was decorated by the previous owner and it has a lot of very good reviews on, on booking.com through, through which I booked for this place. There's also a guide in the, in the room showing you what the local area has and the local tourist spots that you can visit as well. There's also some local 
shopping centre, I can't remember what it's called, and also the cinema, lots of eateries close by, within 10 minutes drive. And also a large supermarket as well. So if you go there, just mention that you saw this video, I'll put a link to the, their website below and you can visit whenever you're in that area. Thank you for watching.